Hey Kelly, this is Joseph Vickers with Covenant Roofing. I want to say thank you again for uh, for letting me come out and inspect the roof, and uh, thank you for for your trust and just letting me get up here uh, and kind of look around. Um, <clears throat> not really seeing what I'm what I'm looking for uh, per se. Uh, basically, what I'm looking for uh, I'm looking for wind damage and I'm looking for hail damage, and and uh, it's not really what I'm seeing a whole lot of. They might call that wind damage um, because that's kind of what it looks like uh, right there. Uh, basically, it, and it really looks like what was here uh, at one point, which is that crease shingle. Uh, but basically what happens, and although that pop nail, uh, that's just poor workmanship, so they don't cover that. Um, but what happens is these seals break. What I'm looking for is, is these seals break. Um, and I don't see a whole lot of broken seals. There was one on the front that I found. Um, but it's kind of like, see right there how that's broken? And what happens is that the wind will get up underneath there, right? And it'll uh, it'll break it all the way across. Uh, so this whole seal will be broken. Uh, and the whole shingle, when the wind blows, it'll just bend it back and forth. And basically, you'll see a crease uh, basically right around here uh, or the shingle will be gone. Uh, usually up close to the top, but the wind will get up underneath and just kind of work it back and forth until it breaks. Uh, and that's kind of what I'm looking for. Uh, but I'm not seeing a whole whole lot uh, right here. Your your neighbor down the street that we were working with, uh, a little bit further down, not this house, but a couple houses down, uh, I think his name was John, uh, he uh, he had a bunch of it. So, um, But your, your roof is definitely old. It's definitely getting uh, to the repair point. I would encourage you. Uh, that the next time that you have a, uh, a broken uh, a broken shingle or a wind damaged shingle like what I was talking about uh, that you not repair it don't put tar on it uh, just call me out here uh, and I will come uh, and repair it for uh, not repair it but uh, that's kind of when you want to call the uh, the insurance company it looks like it was broken uh, right here not really sure what's what's going on here it looks like the seal was kind of broken and it looks like see how there's a split right there uh that's that that that's kind of what i'm looking for however if you repair it then that voids the insurance okay so don't repair these next time next time call me uh so i can come out here because insurance won't pay if they don't have to so um yeah so that's that's just what i'm looking for i would say that your roof um is probably about at least 10 years old um, there's not a whole lot of granular loss, and it looks like the seals are still holding. It does have, look like you have a, a few nail pops, so let me know uh, how you want to pursue this. I would say wait for the next couple storms uh, or high winds. If you have any broken seals, uh, then that'll get your roof replaced. If you only had broken, if you only have shingles on this side that are that are that are damaged, then they'll only pay for this slope. But if you have them on both slopes, then they'll pay for for all slopes. So. Um, again, thank you for your time and letting me up here, and I will talk to you all soon. Uh, Joseph Vickers, Covenant Roofing. Thank you. Bye.